Hey, oh, so if we beat Huggy Wuggy, right? If we beat Huggy Wuggy and we just keep running away from him, does anything happen? I mean, the game's loading, right? I would just wake it up! Does that mean we beat Huggy Wuggy? Okay, then probably wish me luck. We come in here, we jump over. We come in here, we jump over. That's it, that's it, right? Yes, that's it! Okay, wreck it, let's get up here before- Whoa! Yay! Yo! Is that Huggy Wuggy? Hey, yo, Huggy Wuggy, if you want the smoke, my boy, I got you! I got you! Bye. Bobby Playtime Chapter 3 is absolutely fire! But the burning question on everybody's lips is, is Huggy Wuggy actually alive? Yes, we see Huggus Wuggus in Chapter 3, but is he real? Can you find Huggy Wuggy again after Catnap's stanky breath nightmare? And is there really a Huggy Wuggy ending? Welcome back to Bobby Playtime Myths, where this episode is gonna leave you shook! Hello! 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 Uh, well, if you're hearing this, then... Like and subscribe! Ah, I've literally just started up this episode and all I hear okay, is a lot of laughing, a lot of creeping. Lo ah! Well, as you can already tell, this is going to be an action packed episode, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Poppy Playtime Myths, the series in which you give me your myths, theories, and experiments to blow open absolutely every single secret in Poppy Playtime Chapter 3. And oh boy, we got an episode today. Oh boy! Today's Myths episode is going to be mainly focused on our beautiful blue boy, Huggy Wuggy. Thanks to your myths, I found some absolutely incredible things. So thank you very much for them. If you have any myths, theories, or experiments to carry on for the next video, please let me know down in the comment section below. And yes, I'm still giving away some copies of Poppy Playtime Chapter 3. So if you would like to enter into the competition for a chance to win a free copy of Poppy Playtime Chapter 3, all you need to do is subscribe to the channel, like this video, and leave a comment down in the comment section below. Now that comment could be anything. So why don't you go ahead and tell me who your favorite Poppy Playtime character is. Why don't you go ahead and tell me a myth theory or experiment for this series, or what are you looking forward to, slash what do you want to see in Poppy Playtime Chapter 4? But either way, to enter into the competition, all you need to do is subscribe to the channel, like this video, and leave a comment down in the comment section below. Good luck! Now, today's first myth is actually to do with the secret area that we found in the last video, which is just beyond this door. Please go and check it out in the previous video if you haven't seen it already. But, spoiler alert, if you go through this wall here, you actually get into a secret duck ride that was cancelled from the game at some point but we never actually got to finish off the ride. There was quite a few suggestions of what I could do to solve this issue. So thank you very much to everybody who submitted that myth. Now, what everybody was saying was what happens if we don't go on the ride to start with, we just drop down and we land on over here and we open this up before we go through. There we go, you guys are geniuses. Whoever submitted this myth, that is absolutely genius. Because when we were on the duck ride before, there was a glitch in which we couldn't actually pull down this handle. So we just go and do it immediately. Now we can get back on the ride. There we go. We're on the boat ride, baby. I can't believe they canceled this. This is peak enjoyment right here. I would have loved nothing more than surviving the little critters and then coming on and have a nice, peaceful ducky ride. But I'm telling you, already, you already know, those critters would have been jumping out of vents, they would have been trying to grab your cheeks while you were enjoying this little ride, but this isn't the only secret area that was cut from the game, I'm going to be showing you another secret area right here in this playhouse in just a second, and it looks absolutely incredible, haven't checked it out fully myself, but I found it by flying around the map in this chapter, now this is where we got stuck before let's enjoy the rest of the duck ride and just vibe, oh yes now, where are we? Let's go to three real quick. Oh, look at this. Let's light it up a bit. So this was like a pirate theme ride, which would have been really cool at one point, but it looks like lots and lots of these little critters have been endgamed at some point. No way! This is the same glitch as before. Have I got to open this door too? Why are they all- I, I, I know exactly why they're all glitched, let's face it. This was cut from the game, it's not supposed to work. Why is Disney World always ruined for me? Right, okay, so this is the end of the ride here. And we just stop. We get off. And this is where we land, right here. So what- oh, are we supposed to go through here? Okay, yeah, so we get off the boat, we come through here, we're supposed to go through this little, like, um, a pirate boat or pirate house. We walk through, and then we've got the prison cell right here, where Dog Day is hanging out, you know what I'm saying? He's just chilling. We're back in the prison. So basically, it was just a long way for a shortcut, because eventually these doors are actually just opened, and uh, in, instead of going through the secret door over in that corner, you go on a massive long boat ride, and you end up in this section anyway, coming through there. Okay, so that was a very cool 
cancelled area. Thank you very much for all your myths. You managed to solve the problem of the broken ride. Now let's go on to the next secret area. Welcome to the playhouse, ladies and gentlemen, where the critters want to play with your insides. So let's try and go through this area and let's see if I can remember exactly where it is. If I'm remembering correctly, it's right at the start. Wow! <laughs> Chimney Christmas, these little fellas are so... Woo! Not there. What? Hey, where are you, freaks? I, 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 I just came to do some experiments. I didn't come to play with you. Jiminy Christmas, please. Please burn. Jiminy Christmas. Okay, okay, it's this door here. I'm for sure it's this door here. Go away. So you can't get through this door, right? You cannot get through this door. It is locked. You cannot press any buttons on it. Excuse me, I'm trying to do a myth. Ladies and gentlemen, wait your turn, you little rotter. Ah, I'm in trouble, I'm in trouble. Okay, okay, let's just go. Let's just go through. Let's just go through the door. And as you can see, wow, seek area, very cool, very poggers. The animals are after me. Can they get in though? Hey, oh, I'm stressed. I am stressed. Hey, well, welcome to a new secret area. Woo! I couldn't do my usual commentary because I'm freaking out. Okay, you would have thought. But, oh, I'm making the freak out. Yes. I can hear them laughing all around me. But yes, very cool. Another secret area. So this was obviously an option to escape the critters at some point in the game. Let's have a look, good look at it. Okay. So it looks like some kind of obstacle course. Is that right? Something like this. Um. Oh, I've already failed the obstacle course and I've fallen down. So we've got to jump from one place to another to another. Hey, yo, and down there. So you could probably... It just shows you how... A jumping puzzle? I ain't no way! There ain't no way! Have I got to do this? For real? That is crazy. That is crazy. I've got to get up there. Wonder what's up there, though? Oh, I don't really want to do a jumping puzzle, though. From this, this place is so dark. So trying to jump up here is a little bit tricky. Okay, I see why they cancelled this. Okay, because imagine you're trying to run away from the critters and you're trying to do this crazy obstacle course over here and, and you just can't escape them. And I can hear them all around me. This is crazy. Okay, oh, he's a real gamer. He's a real gamer. Okay, do we keep going up? Do we go on the top or do we go through this area? What's through here? Oh, was, oh, that was a tricky one. So they would probably crawl out of the vents there to try and get you. Now, is there any way we could just jump me over here? Okay, now we just keep going up. So I wonder if this was like a, a little ruse. Wait, what? Where do we go now? Oh! Oh, uh, do you just get blocked off? Hey, oh, what? Eh? Please tell me I'm not just stuck in here now. With the critters just hiding by the door. Is that... Or were you meant to be able to get through here at some point? Okay, so what happens if we just go through this vent? Okay, nothing. I wonder if at some point you were supposed to just drop down into the room below you, which would lead you to this section here. Isn't that where Dog Day comes out at one point? It is, isn't it? That's where you chase you. So I wonder if Dog Day was supposed to appear at some point before this and chase you away. Very cool, though. Very cool. I like the fact that there are these little areas that could have once been part of the chase sake sequence or, or just another route to fool you. That's what I think this was. I don't think this was ever meant to be a section other than somewhere to trick you and you to go the wrong way. So I honestly think this section right here was actually never going to be in the game at all. This was probably just a, a trick section in which you would come in here, you would jump all the way up the top, this vent was blocked, you thought you were escaping, and critters just destroyed and ate your face, and probably went inside you like in Dog Day, which was just absolutely gruesome, by the way, but I loved it at the same time as feeling very sad for big old dog himself. Can we get some Fs in the chat, please, for Dog Day? It'll make his day. Or at least half his day. <laughs> that was really insensitive for me. Less time to go. Time to go. Try to go and check out another set. What? What? What's that? Okay, okay. Jimmy Christmas. What is this boy doing? Is he waving? Is he just chilling? Hey, Huggy Wuggy. Why are you here, buddy? Why is your hand out like that? Why are you... Is he just leaning, having a little look? Hey, he's my boy, Huggy Wuggy. Ah! Jiminy Christmas, Huggy Wuggy. Why was my boy in here? These souls deserve peace. Yes, Dog Day does. No, I'm not, I'm not certain about the rest of them, but Dog Day deserves a good day. A, a, a great day, in fact. I'm not going to be any jokes. Huggy Wuggy, what is my man doing in here? It was a secret room. It was a secret area. Maybe he was always meant to appear. Look. Little catnap. I've never actually seen these guys jump scare. Hey, look at you. Look at you. Oh, 
you're so adorable. I need to go back to that area real quick. What was Huggy Wuggy doing there? What was my man's Huggy Wuggy doing there? Just vibe. I heard some very big screeching. Get out of here. Don't you mess with me. Don't none of y'all mess with me. Ah! Ah! I hear them. I hear them. I hear them. And I'm very scared. Did I just come back around the wrong way? What is happening? Oh, okay, okay. I've been turned around. I've been turned around. Right in his face. See that dog day? <laughs> it was me. It was me that ate your legs. Your boy betrayed you. Okay. Oh! He's just there. Why is he just there chilling? He wasn't there before, right? I, 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 I don't want to. Why are they screaming? Why is he there? What is going on? Hey, hey, leave me alone! Why are they screaming? I can't go back in there. It's just... Ooh. I said to keep moving. Do you know what? I, I'm, I, 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 I can't keep moving. I can't go back in there. I have done something to summon Huggy Wuggy in there. We're not supposed to be in that room. It was obviously scrapped for a reason, but I don't know what that reason was. But the fact that Huggy Wuggy's in there is very cool. Hey, yo, what a cool area. What a cool area. If you have any myth theorist experiments to do with more secret areas or the secret areas we've seen today, let me know down in the comment section below. Next myth. Now, one of the biggest myths we actually have is... Can you escape Huggy Wuggy? If you can, what happens? Is there any way to somehow bring Huggy Wuggy with you? Let's try loads of experiments out with Huggers Wuggers right now. Uh, one experiment I would love to do is somehow mod in the gas mask. I would love to be able to mod in the gas mask and see what happens if you try. Because I don't think we can. We can't press R. Is it F? It's one of them buttons. Um, we can't put the gas mask on. But obviously, this is the nightmare sequence. Because as soon as we step into the, the stank gas, we then start hallucinating. We probably pass out, we're lying on the floor, and this is where Catnap has taken over our mind. This is the section in which we are now Catnap's plaything, and he is going around and making sure that we do exactly what he wants to do. He's toying with us. Which makes me think that Catnap isn't all bad. We are obviously someone that Catnap likes, because Catnap could have endgamed us at some point. Yes, it's in a cat's behavior to toy with their prey, as you've seen with cats and mice, and this is very much a chapter about a cat and mouse game. We are the mouse. Catnap is the cat, and we're going through and doing that. But yes, let's get to Huggy Wuggy. Okie dokie, so here we are. We've got Huggers Wuggers, we've got the VHS tape, and this is where Huggy Wuggy actually comes out of the machine. So let's get as far away from it as possible to start with. Give ourselves the biggest head start to get away. We're actually blocked because the door is open. Now, what happens, right, if we just casually slip through the door... And let's see how far we can actually get away. Because we can actually physically move at this point, right? We can physically move. So it's just the door that's blocking us off. So let's just try and get away as far away as possible. And see. Oh, the, the wall encloses in, dog. Hey, oh, what now? What happened? Is there anything on the other side of this wall? It is. It's just the corridor where we came from before. Okay, so we're through that. So that's the corridor we just came from, right? So I'm just going to stand here and want to see Huggy Wuggy come through the door. Hey, yo, let's see how far we can actually get. Let's see what happens. We might completely break the game. But that's the whole point of myths, baby. Okay, so that door should open any second. Now there he is, just his little toesies. Oh, he's wait. Okay, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm, going to go. I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. Oh, he's on his way. The yeah, high's on his way. You can't go fast. You cannot run. He's definitely on his way, bro. He's definitely on his way, bro. I'm in the dark. I'm in the dark. Am I blocked off? I'm blocked. Bro. Bro, whoa, whoa, it's just his legs there. Oh, he's at the end of the corridor. I think he stopped. I don't think he can turn. Huggy Wuggy has only got one sense of direction, and that's forward, baby. Do you know what? I respect that. I respect the hustle. Little man's over there showing his feet, trying to riz me up instead of jump scare me. Oh, the radio's starting to pop off. Oh, just go along here. I... I could have just escaped. Ayo, I've beaten Huggy Wuggy. I'm too strong for Huggy Wuggy. <laughs> I'm the most powerful person here. Ayo, so if we beat Huggy Wuggy, right? If we beat Huggy Wuggy and we just keep running away from him, does anything happen? I mean, the game's loaded, right? I would just wake it up. Does that mean we beat Huggy Wuggy? Does that mean we've beat Huggy? We beat Huggers Wuggers. Huggers Wuggers ain't got nothing on us. Does that mean we can just go through here 
And it should just be yes. It's the next section of the game. And we are good to carry on Go! Oh, yo. This is absolutely fire. We be Huggy Wuggy. We didn't get jump scared by him. We just woke up naturally. Our sleep is over. We are ready to rock and roll and grind this game. Okay, so we've got Daddy Long Legs here. So it's just static, right? Now, a lot of people in the comment section, which is amazing, I love all your theories, a lot of people were suggesting the cardboard cutouts that are just static means they have been endgamed. They are no longer around. Mommy's been getting gamed. We haven't seen Daddy, so we're just assuming Daddy Long Legs has been endgamed. Baby doesn't actually have a voice. Now, this could be a couple of reasons Baby never had a voice, because it's a child, Baby, baby Long Legs, or... Is Ollie. A lot of people have been suggesting that Baby Long Legs is actually Ollie. Now, the next interesting point with all of this is Huggy Wuggy's card. Hug day keeps the monsters away. His cardboard cutout actually talks. Two hugs a day is better in every way. So, a lot of people are suggesting because his cardboard cutout talks that he's not endgamed. Hugs are non stop. Non this man is still going. I'm gonna hug you until you. <laughs> Hug a day keeps the monsters away. I love, I absolutely love. I love him. I absolutely love Huggy Wuggy, but his posture is absolutely awful. Which might actually suggest because Huggy Wuggy's posture has been absolutely destroyed. I mean, he fell from the top of the, the, the factory, right? Or what we have perceived to be the top of the factory anyway. I don't know how far he fell, but evidence in chapter 2 suggests he fell quite a long way. Hit lots of pipes on the way down. Has left lots of fur and... Huggy Wuggy sauce all over the walls. The red sauce. Just to be very specific, they're red. Nothing else. And the fact that his cardboard cutout is still talking, whereas mommies and daddy long legs and stuff are no longer with us and no longer talking, they're just static, kind of suggests that Huggy Wuggy is still alive. It's a theory, it's a bold theory, it's a game theory. Man, I'm gonna miss Matt Pat. But it kind of holds up, right? It kind of holds up. I don't think Mob would want to get rid of their my main iconic character. So let's look for some more evidence in this chapter at the very end. Hey, puppy playtime. Need a hand? <laughs> anyway, enough clowning around. We gotta find some secrets over here. So this ending, everybody is speculating who endgame Kissy Missy or what happened to Kissy Missy. In the previous video, we actually found somebody there after saving Catnap. I think you could probably guess who it was. Go and check that video out. But today, because we have done things so differently and we didn't encounter Huggy Wuggy properly because we managed to escape him has something changed so what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and find out who has kissy missy at the end now a lot of people have speculated actually huggy wuggy because you hear huggy wuggy's jump scare noise in amongst kissy missy's wails of screaming in pain but is it actually Huggus Wuggus? We about to find out. So we end game can now, but we change things in this playthrough. We one, went and found Huggy Wuggy in the secret area. Two, we managed to escape from Huggy Wuggy and we woke up by ourselves. Let's see if anything has changed right here at the ending. If it hasn't, who cares? If it has, very cool. That's what the, the, the main thing about this series, the main thing about these myths and that we did with Five Nights at Freddy's and we've done with this game is we get to find all the secrets and all the potential things in this game, which is amazing. I know, Poppy, I know. I'm an absolute hero. So all the stank gas has been siphoned through these tanks, and where does it go? Where does it actually go? Hey, thanks for the lift, by the way, the ride. <laughs> I'm flying up in the air. Can we go and see? Can I jump across there and meet Poppy? Nope, my ankles are broken. You want to know what happened and why? Yes, I do. This. It's my VHS, it's my home collection. We called it the Hour of Joy. The Hour of Joy, huh? I guess we're gonna have to look at this bad boy. We're not, we've seen it like a million times. Okay then, Poppy, wish me luck. We come in here, we jump over. We come in here, we jump over. That's it, that's it, right? Yes, that's it. Okay, wreck it, let's get up here before- Whoa! Yay! Oh! Is that Huggy Wuggy? That's 100% Huggy Wuggy. What's he doing, Kissy Missy? Hey, yo, Huggy Wuggy, stop! Hey, yo, Huggers Wuggies, you leave that innocent one alone! You don't deserve her! Hey, yo, Huggy Wuggy, if you want the smoke, my boy, I got you! I got you! Huggy Wuggy, why? Hey, yo, 
I know the fact that he tried to take Kissy Missy, the fact that the end game does, the fact that we're still getting the ending credits, what does it mean? I absolutely have no idea, but it was Huggy Wuggy at the end that tried to get Kissy Missy, or at least in this ending, because of all the th different things we have done. This is actually crazy, and I love it. I absolutely love it, this game. Well, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That was another exciting episode of Poppy Playtime Chapter 3. Myths, if you did enjoy today's video, please go ahead and smash that like button. And hey, if you have any myths, theories, or experiments for the next episode, pop them down in the comment section below. Either way, run right around my face just now. There's going to be another couple of videos I know you will enjoy. Click on one of them bad boys, and I'll see you over there. I'm Rasmowski. You've been the beautiful Rasmowski, as always, for watching. And I love each and every single one of you. Yeah, bye!